Hey guys, thank you for joining me in this new video. My name is Krishna. In this video, I'm going to show you um, how you can access your PHP admin, but there is a, a curveball to that, right? So maybe you're wondering if you want to get Cloudways or maybe you already have Cloudways. If you do not have Cloudways, you're going to find in the description of this video, um, there is a link provided here for you for a free trial. But as well, you have a call you could use for 10% off for the next three months, for the first three months. So if we move back here, we're going to see how we can access uh, the PHP My Admin. So PHP My Admin um, is actually when you use, um, I mean, I've mostly encountered that when it comes to uh, WordPress, but it could be used in different other settings. It's something that, you know, when it comes to, I, I think it's a database that is online that you can actually use, um, that you can actually set up. But most of the time, I've only encountered that or have it, had it set up when I use uh, Cloudway. So this is PHP my admin. In case you do not have an idea of, uh, maybe maybe if if you know you is great, but maybe some of you might not know. So what you're gonna find over here is mostly access to everything that has to do with uh, the database management of your application. And you can actually see here, PHP my, uh, my admin is an open source database management application. Okay. So um, the way you have it, so we don't have, there is not uh, uh, something that is actually called PHP my admin uh, in cloud ways, but you the way you go and you access your database is going to be so you need to go to your specific application right so over here i have just a demo server that i created and as well a demo application so you go to that application you click on that and in the access details that you're going to find here that tab you're going to find the mysql access over here um but this is me at the the my SQL access you will use that those credentials if you log in a different way but from here the launch database manager this is basically all that you need to do so when you click on that you're gonna have access to it over here those credentials so let's say you are using uh, something like data grip right something like data grip where you you can you you need to co connect remotely this is where you will be using that and as well the the ip address of the application but over here if you just uh, on the browser you can actually preview it from here and you actually see that we have access to all uh, uh, all the different tables that we have within that database right and we can um, add, we can have a SQL command over here that we can pass. So let's say uh, a very simple command over here. I'm just going to say select all columns, right? From the table, uh, from the table posts. I'm just going to execute it. And over here is basically returning everything that I have over here from that table uh, post over here, right? And if I go to the table, you're going to be able to see the structure. Um, you're going to be able to view the data, right? You can also add an item, right? But most, most of the, the way, and like I say, especially if you're using it uh, with WordPress, which is Cloudways is really great at, um, a lot of it you're gonna do it in the front end so within the the admin of wordpress you're not gonna do it and to uh, come over here most of the times the people that are gonna come over here uh will be probably super admins or maybe developers right they want to troubleshoot uh, something this is where they're gonna come and actually have access to it um but you know a lot of times you don't really need to to come over here and do any um do any um operation and i would also say because you know i'm a developer as well but a lot of times when i review that i would say probably 80 percent of the time is really just to to review uh, to actually view the application um operation that actually save or delete that kind of thing unless you know i'm testing and developing uh something i usually don't don't do that on something that is in production 
So this is how you actually do that. So you're going to see that it is a little bit similar, but it, it doesn't have the same, uh, the same look. Uh, the functions, most of the functions would be uh, fairly, fairly close to it, doing the same operation. Although my guess is PHP my admin would be a little bit more advanced, will have a little bit more options that uh, the option that we have over here on Cloudways might not have. But it's something just to keep in mind. For before the, the bulk of it, you'll be able to do everything. So that's what I have for you for this video. Let me know if you have any questions.